the situation in Libya is very unpredictable. After the, the regime fell, Gaddafi basically just let all of the, the prisoners out and he supplied them with weapons and he said, go fight against the people, you know, go fight against the rebels. I work for the town militia. There are many militias and they control many parts of Libya. I actually do not feel safe at all because I myself have been in situations where I've been fired at and I was just, I, I'm just a normal civilian. I have no, you know, I have no loyalty to any militias or any groups or anything. In Libya now, there is a clear split between those who want Islamic law and those who do not. This is no media. <laughs> so, not necessarily you guys. Yeah. The situation is harsh and complicated. The media blames the militias for all these clashes. What about Ansar Sharia? The State Department says that they were responsible for the Benghazi attack. Were they? As you said, an ambassador was killed. But the media lies about Ansar Sharia. We fought alongside them in the revolution. And they have the same beliefs as us. The media wants to give Ansar Sharia a bad image. It was clearly Ansar Sharia. They have a policy of killing foreigners. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow because, I mean, you can never guarantee that what could happen tomorrow. There could be another tyranny, the, the tyrannical uh, dictatorship. There could be, you know, a war, that, an invasion. So you always have to protect yourself. 